All right, this is the next part of the same topic 3.2 sine, cosine and tangent in unit 3. Uh, here we are given that there is a circle center origin and there is an angle theta that is formed with the terminal ray that intersects at P and other points are given Q, R and S. If theta is pi over 3, then what is the measure of the terminal ray uh, that intersects the circle at Q, R and S? In other words, they need the angle this one this one and this one All right let's 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 do it uh, step by step if you understand the first one is the, the what whatever follows is very easy to understand okay see can we agree that this is also theta because these are all symmetric so this is also theta right okay now notice that we need to find this one this is the terminal angle for q okay what is this angle this entire thing isn't that 180 degree or in radian world, can we say that this is pi? So if from this entire angle, uh, this angle that is pi, if I can take away this theta, don't you think I will be left with only this much, which is what I need, right? So that's my answer, which will be for Q, it is pi minus theta and theta is pi over 3. So this is 2 pi over 3. Likewise, for R, can we agree that this angle is also theta? And this we already agreed that this is pi. So if I add pi and theta, I will get this angle, which is actually the terminal side of R, terminal angle of R. So for R, the answer is pi plus pi over 3, which is 4 pi over 3. And likewise, can we also agree that this is theta? And we need to, and what is this complete angle? Isn't that 2 pi? So if from this 2 pi, I will take away this theta, I will be left with this much, which is the terminal angle of S. So for S, the answer will be 2 pi minus pi over 3, which is 5 pi over 3. That is the final answer. Yeah. Now, if, like I said, if you understand, understood that, then, this, then these questions are pretty easy. So for Q, I think you will agree that my answer will be pi minus pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 6. For R, it will be pi plus pi over 6, which is 7 pi over 6. And for S, it is 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is 11 pi over 6. That's the answer. Likewise, over here, it's just a different number, same concept. So for Q, it will be pi minus pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 4. For R, it is pi plus pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4. And for S, it is 2 pi minus pi over 4, which is 7 pi over 4. I hope this makes sense. Um, okay, now let theta be an angle in standard position with terminal ray intersecting the circle uh, at the uh, centered at origin at P. And P is in quadrant two, which of the following could be theta? So it's as simple as uh, figuring out which angle is actually in quadrant two, right? I am personally comfortable with degrees and uh, uh, I mean it's not like it's mandate or mandatory you can have some and you can have this analysis in radians as well but if I replace pi with 180 degree and that's how we convert the radians to degrees this will become 45 degree uh, this will become I think 180 over 6 is uh, 30 and 5 times 30 is 150 degrees. Uh, 180 over 3 is 60 degrees and 60 times 4 is 240 degrees. I don't think so even we need to check these points because this is clearly in quadrant 2, right? So the answer has to be this one. This will come out to be, I think, in uh, quadrant 4, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this will be in quadrant 4. Okay. We need to figure out the angle that is in uh, quadrant 3. So uh, I think it has to be pi over 3 is obviously 60 so that's in quadrant 1 this is not in any quadrant 3 pi over 2 is 270 degrees which is on the negative x axis uh, negative y axis 
this is the answer because 5 pi over 4 can also be understood like pi plus pi over 4. So at pi you are on the negative x-axis and you move a little further by pi over 4 you are in quadrant 3. If you don't want to understand it like that just replace pi with 180 degree. So 4 times 4 is 16, 5 and 45 times 5 is 5 is 25. This is 2, this is 222. So 225 degrees, which is definitely quadrant 3. Here we need to figure out quadrant 4. I think this has to be the answer. Uh, 5 pi over 3 because 5 times 180 divided by 3, 3 times 6 is 18, 0, and 60 times 5 is 300 degrees, which is definitely in quadrant 3. Uh, sorry, quadrant 4. Uh, just so you know, I mean, I hope you, you agree with this, but or you already know this, but I just want to clarify, this is 0 degree or 0 radians, this is 90 degree or pi over 2 radians, this is 180 degree or 3 uh, pi radians, this is from our earlier, you know, trick classes, uh, this is 270 degree comma 3 pi over 2 radian, and this is 360 again, which is 2 pi radians. So that's how I quickly know that 300 means it is somewhere here, which is in quadrant 4. Uh, here we need to figure out a quadrant 1 angle, which is, um, well, and not anything intuitive, but uh, this is definitely not quadrant 1 because this is a negative angle, so it has to be in quadrant 4. Uh, likewise, this is also in quadrant 4, no way, uh, this is no way in quadrant 1. So this is not it. Uh, this is also not in quadrant 1 because this is like 330 degree kind of, uh, yeah, 330 degrees. So that's also in quadrant 4. Um, but this one, minus, uh, uh, minus 5 pi over 3, that makes sense because if I replace pi with 180, this is minus 300. So if minus means you have to travel in a clockwise sense. And clockwise sense from the x-axis means something like this. So this is 90, 180, 270 and 300 is here. So minus 300 is definitely lying in quadrant 1. So this has to be the correct choice. Uh, here we need to figure out quadrant 2 angle. So quadrant 2 angle will be 2 pi over 3 which is 120 degree. Uh, right. So it has to be very clearly option B. Uh, here also same practice, so quadrant 3 is I think uh, this has to be this angle because the moment we replace pi with 180, 180 over 3 is 60 and 60 times 4 is 240 which is definitely in quadrant 3. This is quadrant 4, uh, quadrant 4 I think this matches very well because the moment we replace pi with 180 over 4 remains as it is. So this will become 7 times 45, which is 7 times 5 is 35. This is 5, this is 3, 7, 4, 28, 130, 31, 315 degrees, which is definitely quadrant 4. Here we need to figure out quadrant 1 angle. Uh, okay, this I think is quadrant 1. The way I thought about this is, 13 pi over 4 means uh, you're already completing like, you know, uh, for example, 13 pi over 4 is nothing but 12 pi plus pi divided by 4, which can be written as 12 pi over 4 plus pi over 4. And 12 pi over 4 is just 3 pi, 3 pi plus pi over 4. Okay, probably not. I think I'm not. Yeah, I, th I think that's not correct. Uh, but th that was the strategy why I thought this could be a probable answer. Because, but when you do 3 pi, you do pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi, and then a little further, you're actually in quadrant 3, not in quadrant 1. So this cannot be the answer. Uh, this cannot be the answer as well, because this is like a multiple of pi over 2. So it has to be on an axis, not in a quadrant. Uh, let's try option A. Option A, can I write 12 pi plus pi over 6? which can be written as just the way we did for this one. This will be 2 pi plus pi over 6, which makes sense because 2 pi is uh, this one, this much, right? 2 pi is one complete circle and a little further will be in quadrant 1. 
So yeah, that's what they need, right? It has to be in quadrant one. Right, this is a pretty easy section where we just need to sketch these. So we just, uh, we need to have an idea about the quadrant basically and that's about it. Uh, let's do all the questions here and then I don't think so probably you're going to need my help uh, for the later questions. Um, uh, if pi is 180, then 180 over 3 is 60 and 60 times 2 is 120. It's about 120 degrees and 120 is like this is 90. So 120 is somewhere around here, right? This is 120 degrees. Pi over 6 is clearly 30 degrees. That's pretty popular. 30 degrees will be somewhere over here. So this has to be 30 degrees or pi over 6. 5 pi over 4 is, I think, a uh, little more than uh, quadrant. Uh, it's in quadrant 3 because 5 times 180 over 4 is uh, 225 degrees. Uh, this is 180. So this has to be 45 more. So this is 225, somewhere around that. Pi over 2 is a very popular thing, that's 90 degrees, so that's about here. 7 pi over 6 is 210 degrees by replacing pi with 180. Uh, so 210 is, this is 180 and a 30 degree more is somewhere around here, that's 210. And 5 pi over 3 is 300 degrees, 300 degrees is, this is 180, this is 270. 30 degree more, 300 somewhere over here, so this has to be 300 degrees. Likewise here, uh, I don't think so. Uh, you need my help. If you do, just let me know. I'm just gonna just gonna draw just gonna draw pi, and pi is here, which is 180 degrees. So it's something like this. Um, here we need to match the following so that also you know just pretty relatable. This is in quadrant three, so this is in quadrant. Sorry, this is in quadrant two, so this is in quadrant three. That's not it. Quadrant three. That's not it. Uh, this is about uh, 150 degree. I don't think so. It's 150. It's a little more than 20, right? And a little more than 90, right? Uh, this is 120. So 120 makes sense because this is just a little more than 90. Likewise, I think you can do question 22 as well. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. That's just 90 degree. Uh, okay, I'll just do 25 here because that's an opt. Uh, that's a reflex angle. Uh, it ha it cannot be quadrant one. Uh, it has to be, it cannot be quadrant three as well. This is quadrant three. It has to be quadrant four. Uh, both are quadrant four here, but this is very close to 360, you know, so only maybe 30 degrees less than 360. So if we talk about this one, this is uh, 300 degrees. If we talk about this one, this is 330 degrees. So yes, D makes the best choice because it is very close to uh, 30, uh, 360, uh, 300 and 300 degrees uh, must have looked like this. And this is 315 degrees. And this is 330 degrees. So that this becomes 360 and this is 270. And uh, I think this is also pretty straightforward. So is this, so are these uh, this one is clearly 3 pi over 2, so that's that's option D. Uh, it's pretty straightforward here. Um, all right, I think that's about it. If you need any help with those questions, just let me know, but I'm pretty sure you can get that.